some of the power uh, that's that they have. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's, we're draining the swamps. Yeah, so, yeah, and, 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 yeah I, I was just going to say some of the stuff that's going on in England right now is absolutely incredible. There was a woman a month ago who runs a pet store like for 25 years or something. She got fined 2,000 pounds plus house arrest for 12, uh, 12 hours a day for about six months because she sold a goldfish to a 10-year-old kid. Oh, you got to be kidding. Nope. And uh, yeah, there's, there's the kind a, of games that they're going to start. Oh yeah, it's just they're just going right nuts. Yeah, but as you said, Gerald, to to be perfectly honest, the Trojan horse for for, for the Roman cult has been certainly from the from the 17th century has been in England. Oh yes, oh yes. First it happens in England. Six months later they try it on the U.S. and then six months later they try it on Canada. That's right. what's going on. Yeah. yeah All right. So. What I understand is going on too is, is more and more people wake up to the good, the the, the dark side uh, gains in strength equally to to the final moment, and of course the light will always win. Well, the well, the, the, purpo yeah. the purpose of some aspects of what we're doing right now is to uh, you you didn't get into the subject of the rolling over of the curses, how they happen to keep them off of themselves, but when when that is well, I think I talked spoke about the money. Oh, you yeah, did. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> anyway, when that is un that force is unleashed against them, all of those things coming back from the mirror, um, uh, it's going to be uh, really not nice for them. <laughs> coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, they saw an eh? <laughs> yeah. Well, but uh, I'll give you just just so you know, just leave it with a happy thought. Okay. So this is something we're doing in Vic. This is something we do need help on because it costs, it does cost a bit of money to do the registered stuff, but this is what we want to do. Um, if you, if you and I send a notice to the bar society, they can use their argument that you haven't established standing to actually reject the notice before you even establish standing. You know what I mean? It's the catch 22, yep. right? Yep. And they do that all the time. So if they really, really face, if they're, if they're, Basically, their back is against the wall. They've always got the fail-safe clauses which say we'll just totally reject everything, which is what they're doing to us at the moment, right? Yep. However, um, the only way to... If, if, you, if you can mature their curses... Now, every time they sentence someone to death, it's a curse. Every time they put someone in jail, it's a curse. Every time they foreclose a house, everything they've done, start wars, it's all curses, Right? And that's all yep. swimming around in their money. That's why they don't ever get it back on them because they've done a voodoo trick and put it on the money and not on themselves, right? So right. it never matures. But, but spiritually, the only way to mature those curses is to send an ecclesiastical notice of dishonor, right? Yes. Because remember, it's magic that we're dealing with. We're not dealing just with physical. We're dealing with, with the physical manifestation of magic. We have to yes. tackle it in the spiritual realm first through a, a physical thing second in order to get the effect. Does that make sense? Yep, the manifestation of it, yep. Yeah. So the only instrument that you can do to turn that round is to have an ecclesiastical notice of dishonour, protest and dishonour, that can show clearly superior jurisdiction, right? Yes. First, the canon law, the proper canon law, is instanced and promulgated, right? So that they no longer have the protection uh, of of canon law and using that as legitimacy, right? The the divine at the highest level of the universe is amoral. Okay, um, I know that may sound a bit difficult, but it, it, it's, it's neither good nor bad. It it it, it favours life, but it doesn't it doesn't say, well, you know, I'm a jealous god, right? That's you know, the the universe yeah. is not jealous, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so. Um, so until you can say we are canon law, really you haven't totally nailed it yet. So when we have canon law, this is what we're doing. We're sending to every bar association an ecclesiastical notice of dishonour based on canon law that all the curses they've ever issued are now matured, including all the liens, right? <laughs> that is all coming back on them and we're putting a value on it. Remember, when you put a big, big value on it, Remember, money for them, debt money for them, is curses. Yep. 
it's $10 million for every man, woman and child alive today within the state of that bar society that's evading the penalty. So it's a lot of money that's been put on them, right? <laughs> yep. Okay. That's a lot of curses coming back on them, right? We, yes. Now, because it's an ecclesiastical notice of dishonour, under canon law, which is their canon law, it is clearly that they are in dishonour because it's under canon law that they're in dishonour, right? Yes. yes. And their society is based on canon law. That's their name. They're canon societies, are they not? Canon associations, yeah? Yep. yep. Ah, canon, right. But in order to totally nail it once and for all, it's issued by a spiritual society and sealed by four officers that are also spirits, the four first four notaries of one heaven. And the first four notaries of one heaven are the first horsemen, horsemen being the original role of a notary, right? Yes. So the four horsemen seal each of these notices. Now, because it's spiritual, and it's on blue, right? So it's, it's an ecclesiastical. So it's, it's spiritual offices defined by the covenant. Legitimate. It's proven to be issued under canon law, maturing all their curses upon them. That is what they're getting. That's what every bar association on the planet needs to get, right? right? Yep, absolutely. So I'd love for you guys to be part of that. Well, I'd be honored to be a part of that. <laughs> no question about that. And uh, lawfully, that shuts them down. It means that unless they burn their bar card, they can't sit as a judge. They can't be a solicitor. They can't be a clerk. Right. It's over. Th those instruments mean... Lawfully, they're in complete dishonour, apart from the fact that they'll be having nightmares. Um, <laughs> but it's over, right? Yeah. So, and, and one more thing about these notices. When we issue them, we, we go through the covenants, but we don't dishonour the covenants. What we say is, one heaven is the sixth covenant in fulfilment of all the history that led to this moment. So we are in honour, they are in dishonour. All right? Sounds like there's going to be an awful lot of reaping going on. Well, it's one that they can't escape from, Vic. It's, as I say, it's over, it's time, but we can't do it alone and uh, we need help. Well, like I guess I'll be uh, on the internet tomorrow and... Uh I was going to actually ask, is this call recorded by any chance? And if someone could send me a, a, a copy of it. No, it wasn't recorded. Hey, actually, I've been running my recorder on it. I don't know how it'll turn out, but uh, if it's good, Vic, I'll email it to you. That would be wonderful. All right, guys. Hey, Frank. Okay, Charlie. You got one moment to, to give me a briefing on Jeffrey and Barb. What's going on? Are they okay? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, okay, two things. Um, uh, we thought with Jeffrey, uh, this is one of my members is, is, is in prison on bullshit stuff at the moment. Parking fines. I mean, unbelievable stuff. Um, yeah, Perry County. It's this county that he's had 15 years of rubbing officials up the wrong way. And so they've, they've had enough and they've put him in there, but they've done it without obeying the law. So, uh, We've gone, up, we've gone after them, Vic, but it's in Pennsylvania, and Pennsylvania is just, you know, they're digging in and they're refusing to yield, so it's it's become a bit of a, you know, an Al Alamo place. I, I read the notices you sent out regarding that on the website there. I didn't know, yeah. what, I didn't know what it was about, but uh, okay, now I do. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, they, they, they put out a bench warrant on... Um, um, uh, on um, the son of uh, Jeffrey, and we thought that there was going to be a hearing. But, Charlie, there's no hearing. It was just paid by, by Barb. There was, all they were trying to do was arrest him. There was actually no hearing date. So they would have arrested him, put him in prison for an unknown time, right? Oh. And by, and by the way, Vic, this kid is 18 years old. He had an income when he was 17 or, or 16 in high school working part-time. He earned some money at the county... Uh, wants a tax on him, they sent a bill 
and they came out to the house last week to arrest him over some penny ante tax bill. His son. Yeah, about fifty fifty dollars or something, forty dollars. They wanted to arrest oh, him kidding. from prison. No, no, no. That's how <laughs> that's how desperate they are, Vic. Um, yeah, and stuff, stuff like that's not to share with me. Able to do that to people, but uh, that's the forces we're dealing with, I guess. Eh? Well, this is their last stand. They're criminals. This is their last. Stand. They're criminals. Anyway, so the, the pressure's off in terms of having to rush to do things there, which is good because we've got to get this done right. Yeah. Um, get the canon law done and finished. And then um, uh, the other other issue was um, uh, Jeffrey needs a checkup because he was feeling a bit low. And Barb asked me, you know, what should he do? And I said to, to Barb, look, understand this. It, truly, it doesn't matter whether, whether Jeffrey signs 100 pieces of paper. At the moment, the issues with Perry County and Pennsylvania have now gone well beyond <laughs> whether Jeffrey consents to be there or not. And tell Jeffrey to just look after himself and, and, and make, it, make it as comfortable as he can possibly make it, given the circumstance. So that's the update, Charlie. Okay, thank you. All righty. Thanks again, guys, and look forward to you to speaking again and look forward to, uh, to any help you can give. But the exciting thing is I really think we are very close – to, to helping in real, real remedy for people um, tackling these guys. And um, and then, really, it's about helping and getting that message out to as many as, as possible. Excellent. Yep, I'm right. with you. Okay. Um, I'm right, guys. Support. Thanks. See ya. Okay. Thanks very much, Frank. Have a nice evening. Okay. Good on you. Bye-bye. And, and Vic, um, I, I, I'll probably be available uh, sometime through the day tomorrow, too. So uh, if you're, uh, let's see, um, is there a time of day that you might want to chat? or, or? Uh, Any time. <laughs> okay. Well, this I, is my life. Okay. Yeah. If uh, yeah, if there's somebody on that uh, can patch us through, uh, patch me through, uh, we'll give you a call sometime through the day. Well, I, I can call you. I can call you. I'm, I got long distance service for Canada here, no problem. I only use Skype. I don't. I don't use any oh, okay. uh, telephones now at all. So, so uh, anyway, we'll right. uh, we'll figure it out. But uh, very you nice. Have, very you nice. You have my phone number, right? Yeah, I've I've got your number in here uh, in my computer now. So, uh, I, if uh, Charlie's around uh, or someone else, we can uh, we can get together and pass through and have a conversation if you want. Just chat about one thing and another. Some questions. Perfect. Yep. Or whatever. Hey, Joe. Be great. Yeah. Joe, did you correct that number four five five seven? The last four digits. Uh, correct. Uh, yep. Yeah. 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 It'll show up in my conversation list here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, listen. I'm going to work tomorrow night. I won't be back until I'm going down to Rio tomorrow night. I won't be back until Monday, so I'll probably miss the call Sunday. I'll be flying back this way Sunday night. So okay. Well, yeah. uh, as soon as the uh, Coop Riders are back in, or um, uh, yeah, I think they're the only ones who have the subscription. I don't think David Neal has got it, does he? I'm going to have to get that well, again. Tim, 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 you got a subscription, don't you? No, I don't have a, a Skype subscription. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Well, we'll we'll get her. Much is it? I, I mean, I but do. The, this is perfect. I have I have one, so I can call out. Okay. Well, if if you're uh, on uh, sometime uh, tomorrow, uh, uh, I'll uh, green up and uh, maybe we we could uh, have a call in. That'd be great. Sure. Do you have my email address? Um, do you have my mine email is address? Up, yeah. Um, mine is up twenty-four. And so. Say again. <laughs> The mine is up twenty four seven. Yeah, it never yeah. goes down. Oh, it, right. Okay, okay. You you leave yours on green it'll, all the time, eh? Show, yeah, it'll show me that I'm away, but I'm actually there. I just keep it that way because the, the nature of what I do, the work I do. So. Oh yeah. Okay. You know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay. Well, I'll get my email address, Gerald. Uh, yeah, I think you punched that in, but let me, uh, or Frank, yeah. Charlie did, but I'll just double check it and make sure it's uh, right, uh, what I got here. Uh, it was kind of a short one, wasn't it? Uh, where did it go? Uh, yeah. Uh, hmm. Oh, yeah, bb at tritel.net? That's it. Okay, perfect. The reason I'm saying that is I just got one phone line here, so if I'm on the Internet, you can't get through, but if you email me first, I'll uh, get it off the line. 
Very good. If you know when you're if you know when you're calling through.